What is going on guys? It is your coffee addicted gamer, Dr. Chiz. I'm going to do a small breakdown on the end of the Modern Warfare 3 uh, survival mode trailer. I'm only going to focus on the 10 seconds multiplayer because that's what really interested me. Now, if you look in the bottom right, you'll see something a lot very different. On the on the right, it is a points meter. It's not a kill streak. So you do objective based things, and they reward you much like the Medal of Honor system did. And also, the kill streaks there have like arrows on them, so I think you can cycle through the kill streaks now. And that's that's what really impressed me right there. That you can cycle through and call in like your predator before your other kill streak or something like that. Also, the device in the bottom right seems to look like a landmine. I'm not really sure what that is, but so far I'm very happy with these two small changes they've incorporated into Modern Warfare 3 because I love the point system in Medal of Honor. It rewarded objective players and it didn't induce camping for killstreaks. Now also, in the top left, they've changed the minimap up a lot. It's like an actual map with 3D contour and realistic buildings. You don't have that crappy like Halo you know silhouette guideline of a building you have the full details right there and you can pinpoint where people are and move based on that map so that's a big change in it of itself so I'm very impressed with what they did to the mini map and the kill streaks or I should say point streaks so that's that's great I love that they showed this in this small clip go ahead and let it play now I don't know what this device is it seems to be look like a bouncing bedding slash claymore but look juggernaut 14 point streak so this can be one of two things one you're either wearing a juggernaut suit and like have like painkiller times juggernaut uh, health or you release a juggernaut onto the map now if it's the second one that's gonna be fucking hilarious and just so cool because the juggernaut really scares people in spec ops at least it did in Modern Warfare 2 and it's a frightening thing thing to see coming at you so i can't wait to see how they incorporate this into the gameplay so that was it guys hope you enjoyed this small breakdown and have a great day all right two videos you might not have seen before my epic rant on season finales of tv shows it's really funny got a lot of good feedback on that and the other one is to drop a question for my q a live commentary over resurrection zombie map pack so go ahead and click the video to go to those videos right now have a great day